Okay, I wanted to show you guys. We got five coats of the sealer on the roof, and it turned out pretty nice. That should reflect some sun. And we got the new air conditioner mounted on there, and it sure looks good. Now, what we did, we just set it up on there and put the clamp in there so I can get it home. I need to get it to where I can work on it. I need it back here in my garage. So we got it back here now we're gonna finish it up okay that's the only thing we got done with it we got it bolted down we got the four bolts there's four bolts in the corner we got all four of them in and we have this little bag here uh, which has got to be cut off to match our depth of our ceiling here and I'll show you guys how we cut all this off and get it wired up now I only have this little thin piece of metal here i needed at least an inch it said i had an inch and a half so i was okay uh putting this in here i had about an inch and a half so that worked out just fine and that meant the thickness of this ceiling now on these box trailers all you have is solid steel beams in here and there's no place to run an electric wire so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do just like i did the runaway and we're going to put a board down through here and we're going to uh we're gonna put the wire inside of a board. And we had been wanting some speakers in the back. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna mount them now, but I'm gonna throw the wires in for them. We're gonna put a speaker on that side and a speaker on that side over there up inside them cabinets. Uh, eventually, we're gonna get rid of the, <clears throat> we're gonna get rid of the, the radio, the DVD player, and a CD player, and we're gonna buy a 12 volt Jensen uh, radio uh, DVD player so we can put in here and replace all this and we'll be able to run our tv off of the radio so we can have a little bit louder we noticed with the um when the air conditioner or the fan is running uh, you can hardly hear the tv it's just like there's not enough volume uh to hear the tv so i think we can cover that but that's probably not going to be for a while right now uh, we want to try to get the air conditioner and the wires up in his ceiling and I do have a breaker box I'm going to be putting in and uh, we're going to be putting a 30 amp service in this uh, trailer I need to change the plug uh, there's a lot of stuff to do here in the next day or so so let's hang in here and see how it goes okay everyone we're working on the air conditioner now um, we're kind of in a time crunch I'm going to do the best I can video and um, we're going to run the wires right down through the center, rewire our lights up. We wanted to move this light back a little bit anyhow. The one was up here. We're going to be using a one by. We're going to cut a slot in it with a uh, router and get it set back through there. And uh, we're going to get some wires in that back back here. We're kind of in a time crunch. We're going to be leaving for another trip. We're going to take a trip down to Virginia Beach and we want to get this done and we just had a huge storm come through and knocked our power out so we have no power uh i got the generator running the garage right now so we're able to keep working but it's tough uh we only got about 24 hours to have all this done and uh get it on the road so or we're gonna miss our trip Okay, our air conditioner's in, and uh, the wires, we, we that board you see me routing out, I routed it all the way back through here, and I brung two speaker wires back in the back, so we can put a set of speakers back there, and the wire goes right up through here, and then we took a router and routed these out, it goes all the way up, and there's our speaker wires that uh, went in there. Now, last night, it was pretty dark. We didn't have no lights in here, the power was out, but we got a lot of this done. A lot of it looks pretty good. And this morning, I just got out here and put my new breaker box in. I put a new breaker box in there, and uh, we're going to wire up another box right there. We're going to get that box. I put a little bigger box in there. It was really tight, but uh, we got us a breaker box now. So we got two breakers in there. That's all we're gonna need uh, right now. So, but we have enough room. We can put four big ones or eight minis in there. So we can actually do some more in there if we want. So what I'm doing now is just getting the wiring all wired up and then we gotta wire that outlet outside and then we can uh, turn the air back on. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and get this box all wired up and then I'll get you guys back in here. Okay, I got my box all wired up now. When you're wiring this type of stuff, you want to try to keep your wires looking as neat as you possibly can. Don't make it look like a rat's nest up in there. Try to do it nice and neat and keep it organized. So all I got to do is put the cover on that, wire up this outlet, and then go outside and change that 15 amp outlet plug in to uh, 30. I'll have this thing set up. All right, everything's back together, all wired up. All we gotta do now is get outside and get the 30 amp plug out there wired up. All right, this is the third time I've taken this thing off and cut holes and everything in it. So I'm hoping this will be the last time. We got that to fit, but I cut this piece of a nice, it's just a piece of aluminum. I'm gonna put, let's see if I could do this here. This piece of aluminum is going to go over top of that, like so, so we could hide everything that was behind it. So that'll look a lot better than just uh, putting it in there and not doing it right. So this will keep water and cover up all the holes that we had cut before. So anyhow, I'm going to get her done and get her hooked up here and see if we can get some air condition running. All right, our plug is in. It's all sealed up. Got silicone all around it. We put silicone inside of it. And there's our plug in. I say we get the cord and try this thing out and see if it works. Let's go get this cord. I can't wait. Hopefully it works. Here's the cord I was working on last night. Now I had to get one of these end pieces on here because I don't have a uh, 30 amp plug in here so I'm just gonna go ahead and get this guy plugged in I'll run this cord out that way hopefully it'll come with me now I said this is what's cool about this thing is you should be able to lock this guy into place line them two up situation here see I gotta line this one right here up with that one hopefully there it is and then twist and it's locked in there so it won't come out now now there's actually a big cone that goes over top of this but I didn't put it on it's pretty sealed up but I'm kind of in a hurry so Got it plugged in. Let's see if we got power in here now. Let's see. Oh, those are all on, so we should have power. Let's see. Let's turn the air on. Oh, yeah, baby. We're not gonna roast in here no more. Not gonna cook now. We got the fan going. Julie got some primer on these boards here. She primed them up last night, put some caulk around them. So she's gonna paint them up today. Then we'll get all of our lights mounted. Now the other light was mounted up here and I extended that wire back to here so it was over top the shower and almost to the middle of the shower. So to give her more light back here in the shower, hopefully. And we could always pick up a little light uh you know a little battery light to put in there but oh i'm so happy to get this done now all i gotta do is get this mess cleaned up all right for those of you who are wondering that little box i put on here where i got it i got it off of amazon and it came with the plug too the female end of the plug that was on the wire uh it came together and they also give you a a big yellow thing that screws on the end to keep it waterproof and we're gonna get that put on there too I just didn't really have the time at the time to put that on so I just wanted to let you know that that thing actually uh, came in like a kit you get that in a kit so you can find that on Amazon probably YouTube or uh, Amazon and eBay I'm sure both of them's got them all right the air conditioners all hooked up working great um, now, if you're curious what size wire I put in there, 
I used a 12-2 wire uh, to, to go to the air conditioner and uh, I have it on a 30 amp breaker. I'm not 100% for sure whether I'm supposed to have that on a 30, but I need to get in the book to make sure that that's supposed to be in a 30 amp breaker. But uh, that's how I, uh, I, that's what size wire I used wiring it up. Now we got all of our lights hooked up. Everything looks good. I want to show you guys some other things too we put in here. I put some little coat hooks and I got some metal ones. I put one over there. You can hang your towel on there. And then uh, I got a bunch of them over here. I put them down through here. Uh, just a row of them to hang things. Hey, Paul, there's your broom. I've been using the broom. Uh, works great. Love the little broom. And then we got one down on the bottom for just some garbage. There's a bag of garbage you can hang down there. Worked out good. Uh, got me a little apron there for when I'm cooking. Uh, Julie told me I always getting stuff all over my clothes. And then we did put some hooks up back in here, too to hang our um, cups and stuff on so it's made it nice to keep them hung up well I wanted to kind of uh, try to give you a little more detail on what I did uh, to put that up it, it was pretty easy actually we just took the board routed out the center of it put our wires down the middle we did use a 12 2 wire I wanted to make sure everybody knew that we got our speaker wires in there they run all the way back to the back uh, so make it easier from when we we do get ready to put that new uh, radio in here uh, We'll we we'll already have the wires in there. So I'd like to tell everybody. Thanks for watching the video Don't forget to subscribe leave me thumbs up thumbs down or comment if you'd like and don't forget uh, If you want them alerts click the little bell down there till next time